Ever have the feeling the airline seat is getting smaller? You may be on to something. The FAA says it's reviewing more than 26,000 public comments after asking consumers about airline safety. For example, if seats are so packed together, it can be difficult to evacuate in an emergency. One of those comments reads, the way airlines are sacrificing consumer comfort for profits is absolutely appalling. Another says, flying in coach is torture. Please do something. Let's bring in Alexandra Scores. She's an aviation reporter for the Dallas Morning News. I mean, the big question is, when did airline seating start shrinking? Right. So you've seen this change over the last several several years. More recently, I'd say the last 40 years, airlines have been trying to accommodate the demand for travel. So you're going to see a lot of different ways that they're trying to navigate. How can we get more passengers into these aircraft, doing it as safely as possible? But again, they're trying to accommodate that travel demand. Yeah, so we're looking at this graphic and you can see the difference between sort of the 90s uh, and today and, and the difference is pretty startling. So how are airlines getting away with squeezing customers in such tight spaces and, and what's the impact on their bottom line? Right, so the FAA doesn't really regulate um, the seats themselves. They regulate other things in the aircraft. Um, you look at like the aisles because um, their priority is safety. At the end of the day, they're trying to, uh, the FAA has a rule that they're trying to get um, passengers evacuated within 90 seconds um, during an emergency. Um, but again, some senators are trying to um, challenge that and try to trying to tell them, hey, you know, the times have changed, airplanes are more packed than before, you know, maybe it's time to revisit those rules. So let's go a step further on that legislation. What's what's the argument that you reach a tipping point and, and it really becomes a safety issue? Right. Um, you you got to think about how many folks um, maybe require a wheelchair or a walker, um, different things that, you know, they may need assistance with to, in order to get on an airplane. Um, 90 seconds is a short period of time. So trying to accommodate for folks that need to shuttle in, and especially with how large the aircrafts are now and how packed they are, um, it's really hard to be able to mitigate that in an emergency situation. Um, so different types of lawmakers are trying to push for more rules and um, more understanding when it comes to seating, aisle space, and just overall time in order to, in an emergency situation. So what are the chances this legislation can get through and will have some standardized seat sizes? Right. There's a lot of different factors that go into push pushing through legislation. There's a lot going on right now at the table when it comes to the FAA, um, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to take some time in order for some of these rules to change. Boy, for a lot of people, it can't come um, soon enough because it can be really tight, especially on these long-haul flights. Alexandra Scores, thank you. Thank you.